you guys believe that we're 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 we're, we're, we're oh my god cannot talk today at all we're a ridiculous 74 percent done with this game already that was really quick wasn't it it was the adventure continues my friends all right so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna f uh finish what we did last time we started off on uh uh, ooh, look at this. We started off, and this is a tough level, by the way. Uh, it's gonna be difficult. We probably won't do everything on our first try. We might even lose a couple times. There's evil bush monsters. Oh, man, there's so many bad things happening. And then we're gonna, I'm still gonna open these guys up just so I can say that I can 100 percent it. Like, it's like the easiest thing to do in the entire level, so why the heck not? But they're kind of annoying, because every single one of them talks to you as well. Anyways, it's super duper duper easy to miss some gems on this level. There's a lot of really crazy hidden ones. There's a lot of really crazy enemies that just can't... Oh, look at that. Getting eaten. Crazy enemies. See what I mean? Getting eaten by bush monsters over here. By... I don't even know if you can dodge the bee. I don't even know if it's possible to dodge the freaking bees. Anyways. Ooh, here we go. We got a little pig monster over here kill you, little pig monster. And then here's the hard part, though. These guys, man, you gotta, you gotta run into them and push them off the side, and hopefully they land in lava. Otherwise, they will just keep pushing on and uh, be, uh, run around everywhere. That's the only way you can kill them is by lava-ing them, or eventually you can ground pound them. We just learned how to ground pound, guys. So that's the reason why we had to come back uh, to the level in the first place, because we didn't have the ground pound, and one of the orbs requires it. So... Uh, and because actually technically two orbs kind of require it because you need to do the first one to make the second one happen Which is kind of this a stupid design if you ask me, you know, I, I, I wasn't a big fan of it Anyways, I like to just melt every single tree and every single bush just so I don't have a problem of uh, being like Oh, I didn't know that they were a bush or a tree Then here we go There we go, you just gotta be really freaking fast with those guys now, I am being sort of careful with my gem finding, because I remember I was running around for 10 years trying to find uh, uh, my last gem on this level when, it, um, when I played it the very first time. And it ended up being in a place that I already went to grab the gems, and I just didn't slurp it up. Sparks was being stupid at some point. Alright, hey, look at that. Three done already. Yeah. Zap! Zap! Right, we still got a blue... Oh, oh. Run away, run away, run away! Don't like the trees at all. They are scary. Crap. They're, they're almost like, they're probably the hardest enemy in the entire game to deal with. I don't know if there is a way to, to dodge the bees, you know? It's like, is it even worth it trying to run around the bees? They're really fast and they fly at you. So, yeah. Trees, obviously, are annoying. Well, any, anyways, in today's video, we're actually going to do Fracture Hills, and we're going to do the other level as well. So I'm going to do a double level for you guys. Uh, might be a 30 to 40 minute video, we'll have to see. Um, gotta wait till they go back inside. So it is possible, just wait for them to go back inside, and then attack them. That's, that's one way to do it. <laughs> that's kind of nice, I guess. So look at that, we actually did a, a nice time-saving technique right there. Kind of. It's great. It's already five out of six, right? Yeah, yeah, five out of six, baby. Whoop -de -doodle -doo. All right, we gotta get this guy fast. Yes, and we get an extra life, so just in case uh, uh, we end up uh, losing this game later on, we got this stuff all set to go. Okay, let's gonna check behind here really quick. I don't think there's anything. There's not. But in the other place, there is something. So this chick's like, ah, oh, Spyro, a dragon. dragon. You can help. Yeah. My friend is locked in this room and lost the key. And you know how hard it is to find a locksmith at this time of night. Oh yeah, for sure. Break down the door on the building. It's four difficulties. So it is a little bit on the difficult side, admittedly. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill this guy. Kill the evil bush monsters. Oh man, there's a tree up here too. This should definitely should not have been a tree. Up here. On rocks? It's a pretty hardy tree right there. There we go. We boot looped it. Alright, so we technically got that thing already. I think, um... We, need four, we technically need 14 to do 
the uh, thing about, but what I can do is I can do a little bit of a trick over here. I'm trying to talk to Hunter really quick. Just stand still, he says. I'll turn your <laughs> boots to gold, he says. <laughs> oh, hi, Spiral. You're a sight for sore eyes. I'd appreciate it mightily if you could locate that alchemist. Mightily. He owes me a favor. All right, let's go find the alchemist. Anyways, this is actually a pretty difficult uh, mini game thing. Oh gosh. Oh, I gotta protect this guy, right? And he's got his little thing of a bob, and he runs around in these stupid directions. I've been experimenting with this potion. I'd like to test it out. But the Shut up, alchemist. Let's just get in on the action over here. So this is a four difficulty thing of a bob. Um. So once they start switching over to looking at the other guy, you can just pound him around a little bit. Just and then we'll get up on this guy. And then after he gets over here, we're gonna be like, "Hey, guess what, boy?" But oh, he squashed me. He squashed a little bit. Smurf and smurf. Oh god, I don't even know which woods to go for. <gasps> oh, that was tight. But he survived. You now at least. Anyways, looks like this one's gonna be the next on the list, right? Nope, 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 he's turning around, he's turning around. Go, oh, get out of my way. Get out of here, son. And it looks like we have made it to Hunter on the first try. Yay. Spyro, master of disaster. Man, do my feet feel better. Would you there look you after know. this for me? Sure, I'll take an orb. See, this is where you should be like, hey, guess what, Spyro? I got a crap ton of old back in my place. You want to, like, just take the big bundle of them? As long well, let's as just go back to my here, place right now. Would you like to help me take out these stubborn earth shapers? Earth shapers? I was calling them earth shakers, oh, I think. Right. When I shoot an earth shaper with an arrow, you head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jump. All right, we got this. So this is actually a pretty difficult one, though. Um, he's gonna shoot arrows very, very quickly at these guys, and you have to run over there, and you're gonna have to straight up triangle the crap out of them. I'm pretty sure you can't fly at them either, which is kind of the hard thing. I'm gonna have to do this twice. Hopefully, he shoots this one. Okay, so he's gonna shoot this one. What does he shoot next? There it is. All right. Can we do it fast enough before he gets up? Which one is he going for next? Yep. What is he going to go for this one? There it is. Before he gets up. Oh, there's another one going down already. Got him. We we killed all the Earth Shapers. Team. Here, I was going to give this to the Alchemist. Earth Shakers I'm makes a more bit sense. annoyed at him at the moment. <laughs> well, that makes sense. 44 orbs. Yippity yoodle dude. Anyways, I did not get all of the gems in here yet. There's still some uh, secret hidden ones back here. Be careful though. This is again the one spot where I was like, "Oh, I got them all. No big deal." Uh, and then I forgot one of them. One silly little uh, red one, like right over here. I was like, "Are you freaking kidding me?" That is the biggest BS that I've ever seen in my entire life. We boing to the crap out of that one. Ooh, look at that. Who would have done that? Why would they put a vase, a 25 vase, to say the least, over there? Anyways, they're making it a little bit difficult for me to get back, actually. Oh, no, they're not. <laughs> it's a lot easier than I thought. I thought I'd do some wicked jumps or something like that. But anyways, we're going to do the uh, the next orb really quick. I think it might, I think it's the last orb, actually. Uh, you got to do quite a bit of running over here. You just follow the path all the way through. There's some really tight little corridors in here as well. Oh, and then you got to do some cool jumps and stuff, too, so... Yeah, already messed it up here, guys. Like I said, it is a wee bit difficult, though. I'm just gonna... <laughs> gotta get back on track. The problem is the jumps, you know? You gotta, like, jump, you gotta time these jumps, like... What? I did not know that they wouldn't die to that thing. Oh, now we got, now I... Boom. I thought I was gonna kill him with that thing, or just run right through it, but no, they're just like... Bleh. I'm the most strongest enemy in the entire game, and I get to do whatever I want. Alright, let's do this, guys. Let's do this. We gotta dodge the Earth Shapers this time. I'm on it. Ooh, a nice little narrow passageway! 
And we do. We made it. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank goodness you oh, broke that door goodness. down for me. I thought I'd be stuck in here forever. I oh, found yeah. this fancy orb in here. Please take it. Whoop! All right, so we got all three orbs in. We've also got the talisman. Bam! But now we've got to find all the freaking gems, and that, my friends, is gonna be the hard part. Yeah. So actually, you know what? There's a little thing that I have to do over here, I believe. Let's see if I can manage it. Um, it's gonna be. Ooh, this is gonna be difficult. I probably should honestly just kill the earth shapers or earth shakers first. Um. I think this is the way you're supposed to do it, but I'm honestly not entirely sure. Uh... Oh, no! It was right there! Anyways, it's time for killing. Let's kill all these mofos. I'm tired of your nonsense, Earth Shakers. Earth Shapers! I find that jumping and uh, uh, pushing them is actually some of the best things you can do. There's actually a lot of enemies in here, though. Um, seemingly impossible to kill enemies. Why do they have their little, little minor pick, though? You know, they, they, don't, they don't, I don't see them digging anything up. They're just trying to squash me a little bit. So this area is uh, almost officially mined out of Earth Shakers. See, we got a little bit more to run around and get. <laughs> this area is done, but there's still some more. Don't forget about that. There's another completely different area on the other side of this guy. So let's make sure we go over there first. These ones are a little bit more difficult to kill, though. Uh, they're a little bit further away from the lava. Well, at least some of them are. Bunk. <laughs> bunk. 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 Yeah, bunk and messages. Oh, gosh. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Come on, camera. Bunk delicious. Alright, so anyways, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that might be all but like, maybe one of them. Might be all of them. Uh, I don't think there's any super secret hidden ones anywhere. So, what we gotta do is we still have to get a lot of gems randomly sp Oh, there is another one. There he is. The most difficult one in the game to kill. There he is. All up in his, his house. We do eventually kill him. Let's check it out. It's uh, 20 of 29. So that is the last one. We've got 29 little kill thing bobs. Uh, so I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's it for like down in the bottom areas, except for that stupid uh, uh, crate that we haven't gotten yet. I don't. I still don't know if there's a better way to do it than what I was doing before. Maybe just like a little bit more efficient type of deal. Oops, almost <laughs> went in there. That would have sucked to have to re-kill all the freaking enemies. Um, that would not have been fun at all. Anyways, I think there's probably some gems back here, but who knows. No, surprisingly not. Alright, let's go do it. I think that might be the last little bit. Let's see, what do we need left? 25. That makes perfect sense. Let's see if there's a nice juicy 25 in that crate. See, sometimes, there's a, sometimes I wonder if there's like a, a really crazy way you could just like jump across up there or something like that, but it, it, it doesn't seem like that's what they want you to do. So, I will try to not do it. Now, my girlfriend was asking me, she's like, Chris, you're, oh, crap. She's like, Chris, I know that you don't get that many views on your Spyro videos, and it takes you like 30 minutes to make, uh, you know, a decent Spyro video. After, I mean, even after, uh, uh, you know, I might make a 10, 15 minute Spyro video, but then after that I need to uh, edit it and render it and upload it and like all these things time consuming pick out the thumbnail and whatnot so uh she was saying why why do you put all that much work into making a video that's gonna get a hundred views and i always tell her the same thing i'm always just like you know what it's not about the hundred views it's about the few people that get the enjoyment out of watching my videos that's what it means to me because obviously these videos do not make me much money at all um we're talking like 10 10 cents a video out of you guys watching the advertisement before the video, like, that's it. We're, you know, really, really low amount at max. 
So, um, if you guys do enjoy the videos, though, you know, at the very least, can you just press the like button for me? Like, that's all I really ask. It's kind of a goal. Anyways, we're not actually done with this one yet. We're gonna actually keep on going on in here. Normally, I would end the video there, just be like, Meh, we're done. But, I want to finish off, uh, the Autumn Plains 100%. Alright, so, I believe it's this way. Did Magma Cone 100%. That one's all fine and dandy. It's the Hippo level. Is this the Hippo? I think this is the Hippo level. Hippo level? Shady Oasis. Yeah, boy! So, the sad thing is, again, you gotta do the exact same thing. You basically have to get the Talisman to uh, get to where you need to go. It's okay. It's not a huge deal, but... Um... It does make you, at the very least, replay the same exact thing. At least once. Because there's no way you can get the talisman without moving on, or you can't move on without getting the Spyro. talisman in this area. So blah 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 blah. I'm not de not dealing with you today. Short of the hippo. Hippo bird me, baby. Alright, so hopefully we can do a little better of a job this time. Last time we ran into some real crazy issues. We almost died a couple times on this level. So it looks like there is at least one crate over here that we're going to end up having to get eventually. I don't think I have to go, I don't have to like uh, run around and get all the gems, because I'm going to end up searching for a lot of crap in uh, uh, the subsequent orb getting uh, situations here, guys. The, uh, what's, what, what am I calling them here? Midi games or whatever? Alright, hippie. Come on, little hippie. Hippo, hippo, the small hippo. I was wondering if I just ma magically missed the, uh, the thing bob. Anyways, ooh, don't want to fall down there, dude. I was like, what is that? Is that a secret area? Nope. Nobody do So the nice thing about this, though, is we'll officially be back to the even number of the gems. You guys know I'm weird about that. For some reason, I like nice even numbers of gems whenever possible. I try and keep that uh, as even as possible. Um, get the gems, get the gems. Of course, if you see them, go for them. That's the best way to do it. Ooh, we got 34 lives already, man. Uh, I wonder if you can get, oh, I wonder if we can get 99 lives in Spyro. I wonder if it's ever been done before. I'm sure, you know what? Take that back. It's been done. Right, why would anybody not play Spyro and get 99 lives? Come on. Come on. Come on. I always thought you could have you could have jumped. Well, how did she hurt me? I always thought you could jump into her and kill her, but I guess I'm 100% wrong. So I mean, we gotta kill you, Peacock. Yeah. Sometimes I feel a little bit bad. I'm like, I'm killing these tiny little defenseless animals. They have no way to fight back. Like these guys, who cares, dude? Like they're, you know, whatever. they can suck my balls. But the uh, these other people, mm, they're they're a lot. Ni Come on. <laughs> Barely hit that thing, dude. <laughs> what? They got good bombs. They really do. Okay. So, there's uh, a lot of enemies we need to kill. 21 enemies so far that we've killed. Now, the cool thing is, is the, uh, the, the mini game that, uh, uh, you need the head bash for is actually really simple. Thanks for helping me. Yeah, no problem, Shorty. No problem, buddy. You already have this kind of it would be really crazy if you can get the same talisman twice. Uh, so this guy, oh yeah, here we go. We got this thing already. That means we're gonna have to run backwards through the the map as well just to get that thing. But actually, if we talk to this other hippo right here, he's gonna be like, "Whoa, Spyro. whoa, whoa, Spyro, Three thieves hook me up, bro. Magical brass lamps. Please get the lamps before they take them away from Shady Oasis." Catch the wily thieves. Okay, you got a little buddy. You got a little hippo. Looks like he's got some uh, um, some wings on him. Do these hippos fly? I think they do. Yeah, he's got some wings on him for sure. I guess he's a flying hippo. They all are flying hippos. I did not realize that for some reason. Uh, anyways, I think the best thing for me to do is just run backwards through the map until I find where I need to go. Because again, I'm getting gems and I'm finding these other. Uh, you know, I wonder if I can spit this at that guy. Let's kind of try it out. Aw, oh, crap.
Oh, I don't think so. I thought that hit him. Alright, one magical lamp down. Peacock! 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 <laughs> think that's why they named it uh, a peacock? Because it says peacock! I don't think so. That would be more of a Pokemon kind of thing, right? A little bit of a Pokemon thing. Alright, um... So anyways, the area that we have not been in at all yet is actually... Where the heck was that magical lamp? I think it was some down, somewhere over here. I don't remember exactly where. Anyways, here's the other one. Oh, crap. Oh, poo nuggets. Alright, now we gotta run back this way. Alright, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to catch him now. Because uh, that was like the, uh, the easy way to get him. Whenever you jump, you slow down just that tiny bit. Oh, and every time I flame, I'm trying to get him, but then I, I screw it up. I should just take my time with it. No, 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 really? Oh, you can't cut him off that good. Crap. This guy's actually pretty solid, dude. He's a quick mofo. I totally flamed his butt off right there. There we go, finally. Should have just cut that corner right there and I would have had him on the first try. Alright, at least we get to uh, peacock him right on back. Any sort of hidden things over here? I think. I can't believe I didn't even get these gems. I think I didn't even go, yeah, I didn't even go up there yet, so let's go uh, check this area out. It'd be really easy to miss this area, because the match lamp guy didn't run over here. I thought that was all this area was meant to do. Just to keep you uh, busy with your magic lamps. Anyways, there's that. Nice and simple. Climb the stairs right back up. Uh, I might have to run all the way back to the end of the level, though, for uh, uh, that. Oh, there's the magic. There it is. Alright, I found it. I found it. Alright, let's see. Can we jump there? I wonder. I, w I don't think so. I want to try, though. No, I can't do it. I know I can't do it. That's pretty far, dude. But maybe from this next area we can. I know there's a little area up uh, before you get to the final area where you can just jump off the side and fly to it. So yeah, they do make you go pretty darn far into the map before you get to go there, though. Oh, man, these stupid hippos right here. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I got. Whoop! Lamp guy. Ooh, man, tons of gems over here as well. Whoop, slurp them up. Okay, we got this guy. Ooh, there's a rocket too. There we go. Now I understand how to uh, pop that thing. Anyways, this guy shouldn't be too bad. Too bad. Uh, he just runs in a little tiny circle, it looks like. Pretty small one. Yeah, three magic lamps. Now he's going to warp me back up top. I thought it was gonna, I was gonna go down to the bottom, he was gonna warp me Anchor back up here, back. and then I would be flying down, but didn't exactly work out as planned. It's okay, so there's orb number one. If I'm not mistaken, there's only two orbs to get in this level two, so that makes things even easier. Um, but we need to go down over here. Crunch! Crunch of fami, Captain! Anyways, first things first, let's get the gems. You know, let's get the, let's, let's do the orb, I'm ready for the orb. Do it, bro. My eight brothers have been trapped in rock, and will <laughs> sink in the lava if you can't break them free. Head bash the rocks by jumping, then pressing triangle. Yeah, this is like they're trying to teach you how to head bash kind of thing. It's super duper easy. Um, I mean, I mean, it's like a little bit difficult, I guess. I mean, they're just trying to teach you how to head bash, and there's only eight of them. You know, if there's like twenty or something like that, i kind of understand the difficulty of it. But as long as you're really ready to jump and then press triangle at uh, reasonable times, things should be nice and I easy. Have a big family, but you've managed to save all of them. Yeah, you I better save, save all of them. I'm too tired to carry it anymore. Oh, thank you, Grundy. That was the nicest thing anybody's ever given to me. A nice, easy orb for once in my life. Usually, the orbs are not all that easy. So here we go. Um, a few more gems to get. This could actually be the last little bit right here, guys. Hopefully, if all is uh, going well, I need to do the rocket and these guys, and uh, I think 
that might be everything. Secret hidden ones that I need to know about? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go get it. Come on, tell me I need exactly this amount. Come on, Spyro. Come on, Spyro. Five more? No! No, what do we need? Oh, we need 12 more, dude. I must have missed a spot somewhere. Oh, I missed... You know what? I remember. <laughs> I never got the, uh... The question mark pot. Oh, gosh. The question pot. Well, we know how many rupees it has in it. It better have freaking 12. If it doesn't have 12, I'm gonna be kind of upset. Anyways, we're also invul invulnerable right now, so that's kind of cool, I guess. And he's all the way back in the very beginning. So I think it's actually faster to go this way, believe it or not. 12. The greens, looking good. Could be six greens before the invulnerability wears off. Way to it. Shady Oasis complete. And that's going to be the end of today's video. So Shady Oasis was really quick. It's fractured Hills, that's a little bit on the tough side. Um, pretty much every single orb in that one is, is pretty difficult. So it's kind of weird, too, because they have it, like, closer to the front. You know, I mean, like, as soon as you walk in, they're like, Fractured Hills. And then they keep this one kind of hidden off to the side. Uh-oh. <laughs> I remember I thought this was hilarious. I was like, oh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. That's exactly what my brother, me and my brother would do. But there we go. Nice even chunk of... S no, that's not even at all. I accidentally got all the Winter Plains ones. No. So that, or the Winter... Winter something. I don't remember the name of it. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's spring, summer, and winter. Or, I mean, no, excuse me. Excuse me. Summer, fall, and winter. Winter Tundra, that makes sense. And then the Summer Forest. I always want to call it Autumn Winds, too. You know? Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you press that like button for me. Obviously, I appreciate that a bunch. And have a super duper delicious day.